Welcome to St. Mark's Community of Faith. Christmas after Christmas service and gathering. We offer you this opportunity to um, reflect on how Christmas has um, come into your life, what you have experienced, what has happened for you and what transformations may have occurred and what is to come as we look towards a new year. We honor that we gather together on the lands and territories of our Indigenous brothers and sisters. We seek ever to be reconciled with all peoples and our earth and are committed to walking toward a life of justice and compassion with great spirit God. Let us pray. Your love flows like a stream into the ocean of your grace. Your love encircles this world, displays your faithfulness. Your love is patient and kind, brings wholeness and true peace. Your love is all we desire to heal our brokenness. As all things pass and fade away, love remains eternally. Thank you, John Grinch. Psalm 148, praise God. Shout your praises from the heavens. Shout them from the heights. Sing praises, all you angels, all you heavenly beings. Sing praises, sun and moon and all the glittering stars. Praise God, you highest heavens, you water above the heavens. Praise the holy name of God who called you forth, who established you forever and ever by decree that will never change. Shut your praises, all the earth, you sea monsters and all depths, fire and hail, snow and frost, storm winds fulfilling God's word. You mountains and all you hills, you orchards and every cedar, you beasts, both wild and tame, creeping reptiles and flying birds, monarchs of the earth and all people, rulers and judges of every land, women and men, and all people alike, young and old together. Praise the holy name, the name beyond all names, God's splendor above earth, above the heavens, giving strength and hope to the people. God be praised by all the faithful people, by people close to God, alleluia.
We hear the psalmist speaking about the most inclusive kind of God energy one could imagine. It exists in everything without exception. Butterflies, bees, mountains, hills, trees, people, stars, sky, water, every element, every cell, everything imbued and infused with God's energy. If there is something, one thing, that we need to take with us into this coming new year, it is that truth, deep, holy, beyond complete comprehension, but the inner truth that all life is interwoven and connected and nothing exists in isolation. Everything works together to bring about God's eternalness, God's vision, God's trajectory to us here. We've had a year beyond complication and suffering. We need to retain that truth. We need to step in to our future with that truth sown into our beings. And even though we will all individually and collectively experience suffering and grief and sadness and anger, resentment, injustice, perhaps poverty, perhaps so many countless things that we have a list larger than a road. But our reality for everything on this planet, person, creature, plant, element, is that Everything we experience, both that which we struggle with and have deep pain over, as well as joy and unimaginable happiness, is wrapped by God. And those things flow and coexist together. One isn't more or less than the other. One cannot be judged above, beyond, or less than the other. They twirl and swirl into one beautiful, big, crystalline kind of energy that serves, that speaks, that becomes what we are. And yes, we are a struggling species trying to find our footing here. We're also a very young species. And yeah, we've made lots of mistakes, but we have done some incredible things for one another and for our planet and we are being called to do even more so that our earth is sustained so that we hear and see each other and and care with equality and equanimity and compassion and justice for everything i know it's hard we have natural tendencies to want to um reach out and, and make people hear us. And I have learned that, like the psalmist, I can, I can write and pray and envision and even share who I am simply by knowing that I am a beloved child on this earth with everything else. My presence my commitment to being one with God can change so many things so that that big long list of things that distract us and, and, and keep us from, from being present to ourselves can become a little bit shorter and maybe be balanced with the peace we feel when we pray or meditate or the peace we experience when we let go of the, the whirling thoughts and we just become mindful in the moment and actually experience that deeper, deeper crystalline energy within all life. The psalmist, a lyricist, a composer who would have sung this in temple, 
invites us, reminds us of how everything, everything belongs. We need to get that. That is what's going to change everything. In hope and despair, we can find a way to be one with the inner truth, the collective reality, and our beautiful earth. I believe in us. I know that we're going where we need to go. We just need to stay centered in the one who knows us better than ourselves. So here's to us and what's to come. For those who seek a savior, we lead them to the stable, to the one who was born to bring freedom, forgiveness, liberty. For those who seek assurance, we lead them to the light, to the one who opens eyes to understanding God's word, truth. For those who seek forgiveness, we lead them to a grace beyond comprehension to holy, holiness, healing, peace.
offer you this blessing as we prepare for the coming year of whatever it brings, knowing that we never walk wherever we go alone. Where your love resides, there is wholeness. Where your love inhabits, there is harmony. Where your spirit lives, there is freedom. God of gentle whisper, cooling breeze, and sweet perfume infuse our lives with all that is good and pure and holy, and we shall be a fragrant offering wherever you might need us. Thank you.